Hey everybody, Lil Farmer 73 here. Listen, right now you should be storing up your water. Wherever you can get it from, you need to be storing up your water. I got 55 gallon drums all around my land. You can do it however you want to. I don't care if you even store your water up in a trash can. Just make sure you're storing water. Store water to be able to water your gardens. Store water to be able to drink. Store water for all other kind of reasons. To bathe, okay? A lot of reasons why societies fail is for poor hygiene. Just do your history and you'll figure that out yourself. But do everything you can right now to store up your water. And don't just fill up your big tanks. Make sure you got enough tanks that's ready to go when you are. Just like your solar power and your food, you want to be able to take your water with you too. Don't just stash a bunch of water around your land, around your property, where it's going to stay there. Because if it stays there, that's where it's going to be. If you need to pick up and leave, your water is left behind. Then you left with no water. So make sure you got some water to take with you, okay? This way, if you have to leave in a hurry, all you got to do is grab a few of your jugs and go. You don't have to worry about siphoning out no water that you've stored in one of your giant totes or anything. All you have to do is grab and go. Once you collect it and store it away your water, you may need to purify it depending on where you got it from and what condition the water is in. So here's a few ways to purify your water. Number one, iodine, water purification tablets. Cheap, but effective. Number two, the Sawyer or the Life Straw. Easy to find, very cheap, and easy to fit in any backpack you got. If worse comes to worse, Good old-fashioned bleach. Never fails. Number four, Berkey Water Purification System. Oh, yeah. Oh, you could purify yourself in Lake Minnetonka. Number five, a water distiller. Good old fashioned distilled water. That's one of the best ways right there. Or you can even make yourself a sand, charcoal, cotton, gravity fed biofilter. Those are pretty common and easy to make. But do me a favor, make sure you purify your water. In Lake Minnetonka. Because just because you have water, does not mean it's always safe, okay? You may find water somewhere. But if it is not safe to drink, it will do you more harm than good. So I hope you get this message and I hope you use a little bit of the knowledge, all right? Things looking a little weird, just trying to keep heads up, all right? Left Farm 73, I love you and I'm out. Get your water game tight.